So it's the last day in India and uh, I'm here with Suhas and uh, Dr. George Eagley and we have been going over how to assemble the reactor so I'm just going to go through that in detail. Here is an overview, it's a little bit scrappy, uh, I can do a proper drawing later but uh, what you have here is a conflat D-wire type structure uh, with uh, 12 bolts around the head and the diameter from one end of the conflat to the other is 250 to 260 millimeters. The length from the outside uh, to the far end of the uh, open D-wire is uh, 450 millimeters. The wall thickness is 5 millimeters. The OD uh, is 210 millimeters and the ID is 200 millimeters. Uh, he has nine pass-throughs, uh, that's one common ground and uh, one for each of the eight cores. Uh, and then uh, the arrangement of the uh, transducer, the ultrasonic transducers, uh, is like this. And what you have is um, on the inside you have something like this. Uh, and this is in there and uh, kind of like uh, welded onto the inside or something like that. It's basically welded there. Uh, not entirely certain about that. Uh, and it has this screw thread inside and why you have this screw thread is so that then the piece that comes on the outside you can screw in and out to make sure that you have your resonance between the face of the uh, 1 megahertz uh, transducer uh, uh, and this face, which is the face, the primary face that couples with the uh, reactor core. Now, what he uses is five nickel foil layers and seven epoxy layers between the face of this and the actual um, uh, reactor. I've got a, a glass test tube here. So if you can imagine that uh, you would put some, he builds it up on here. Uh, so epoxy, foil, epoxy foil, so on, uh, five foil layers, epoxy on here, and, and last layer is epoxy, so they're very thin. This is in the reactor, he pushes that in, and then squeezes it in there, and then he has welded already inside some bolts. He puts a face plate on, screws down the bolts, and waits for this to set. Uh, and then you can take that face plate off. You don't want the face plate on there uh, when it's on operation because also this is to do with the resonance. So yeah, this, this thread here is to tune and essentially it's this is from an ultrasonic treatment unit but this is the type of uh, ultrasonic 1 megahertz uh, piece that you would use and the ones that he uses are 30 millimeters diameter and 1.5 millimeters and they go up to 30 watts. I was wrong by suggesting it goes up to 35 watts before it's actually 30 watts is the maximum you can do and then it has like a, sh a shim this kind of um, contact here and this is beryllium copper and this allows you to screw down on and, and set the the, the, kind of like the tension on the head of the uh, transducer to ensure maximum efficiency. So this has some spring in it and this is how the electrical contacts go through. This is an old unit and it has uh, some Bakelite thermoset plastic here as the insulator but there would be some sort of potential ceramic uh, that you could use or any, any suitable insulator uh, to pass through your other signal for your ultrasonic transducer. So that's the layout there. So then you have your eight heads around here, uh, and then what, what he's got around the outside is your uh, heat exchanger, uh, and that goes all the way around, blah, 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 and then through through the center through a half uh, inch diameter um, tube. And then the, at the t far end of the conflat, uh, you have a, a cap where you have your uh, ceramic based pass throughs, the nine pass throughs going through um, <coughs> and you uh, have a, a copper um, uh, sealing ring in order to produce uh, the vacuum and, and uh, uh, hydrogen seal. Uh, the last point is that the uh, alloy this in here is a beryllium copper. Uh, the beryllium provides it's a small quantity in there in the copper and uh, that provides uh, some springiness to this particular item here. So still, still I have the feeling that that's
So George, to... George uh, sorry to break the uh, thing there, but, but George was noting that this has uh, a sort of coating on it, and we've just verified that this is uh, dipped in silver solder. So this is to provide a, a very good contact between that and the upper side of the uh, transducer. Now, the actual transducer itself, the lower side is uh, bonded to the the head of the bit that screws into this um, with a, an epoxy that uh, is uh, suitable, uh, it's a conducting epoxy, so that goes there. And then the, um, the epoxy that we use here uh, to put the uh, cylinder in uh, is rated to 1200 degrees apparently so we need to find out where we get something along those lines um, so yeah that's essentially it uh, around the uh, transducer heads here the the pipes just don't go around there for the heat exchanger uh, and I think that is about it so you just recap you've got your eight uh, ultrasonic heads uh, on the inside you have this, on the outside you have something else with your transducer in it and that is able to screw down uh, to set the correct number of half wavelengths um, in there uh, to to get the uh, maximum efficiency. You want something like 95%, is that right? 90%? Yeah, yeah 95%. If you, if you have less energy transferred it ends up, you know, breaking the, the uh, ultrasonic transducer. Uh, and that's bonded with five foil layers and seven epoxy layers uh, into here. Disassembly involves opening it up and, and smacking the uh, 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 the, um, the ceramics to knock it out. Uh, contrary to what I've said before, the um, the far end electrode is not grounded to the body of the unit. Uh, it actually comes and they're joined together and, and the ground, common ground is, comes out through one of the pass-throughs, uh, the nine pass-throughs. Um, <clears throat> he actually um, joins four on one side and four on the other side to a, a, a common uh, trigger signal. Um, uh, that just simplifies, I guess, the electronics. Um, but it also means that if one of them looks like it's failed, you can actually cut that out of the loop. And uh, 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 but that's all done on the outside of the unit, so you can individually control them if you had electronics to do that. But at the current version, he doesn't. So I think that's essentially it. Eight millimeter uh, is the uh, OD of the tube, and uh, this is how long? Ten millimeters is it? millimeters no that is 12. this is 12 so there's there's four millimeters between the tube and uh, the the keyway in the ultrasonic head to fill with these five foil layers and seven epoxy layers and that's nickel foil I think that's about it